I'm Al Brooks and this is my price action trading course. This module is about head and shoulders patterns, head and shoulders tops and head and shoulders bottoms. I'm going through a list of common reversal patterns and I've been through all of these and now we're at the head and shoulders patterns. Head and shoulders top HST, head and shoulders bottom HSB. Those are the abbreviations that I'll use in this module. I personally don't like the terms head and shoulders tops and head and shoulders bottom. I think, I think they're meaningless because they don't describe what's going on with the price action. Um, the best ones are all major trend reversals and when they are major trend reversals I prefer to use the term major trend reversal. If you have a head and shoulders top for example the move down from the head breaks the trend line and then the rally to the right shoulder becomes a, um, a pullback from that breakout and therefore it's a breakout pullback short and it's a lower high major trend reversal. That's how I tend to uh, look at major, major uh, head, and shoulder, head and shoulders patterns. So here we have a bull trend, a higher high major trend reversal, uh, another break of the trend line, and a lower high major trend reversal. You can call it a head and shoulders top. I would call it a higher high major trend reversal followed by a lower high major trend reversal. At the bottom, uh, we have a strong bear spike. This is the weekly spider chart, by the way, and a potential head and shoulders bottom. I would view this as a bear trend, uh, trend line break, and a lower low major trend reversal with a very strong buy signal bar and a very strong bull spike, and then a higher low major trend reversal. And this higher low trend, major trend reversal has a small head and shoulders bottom, a left shoulder here, a head here, and a right shoulder here. To me, you could buy above this bear bar or better, uh, more higher probability, buy above that, that bull bar. Okay, again, head and shoulders patterns are really just major trend reversals. Um, this is not, you, you could take this short, there's a lot of buying pressure here, um, or you could wait for the break below the, this trend line. I could have drawn the trend line here and called this a higher high major trend reversal but the trend line break was not all that strong, just four bars and not all that big. However, at this point, we've had uh, 10 or 15 sideways bars with a lot of bare bodies, much more selling pressure. I think this is a more reliable um, sell pattern. So this lower high major trend reversal is more reliable than the higher high. Uh, the head and shoulders traders see it as simply a head and shoulders top. Same thing at the bottom, trend line break, test of the moving average, pull back to a higher low, major trend reversal. Most head and shoulders patterns um, are trading, well they're all trading ranges and most trading range breakouts up or down fail, most reversals fail, and most head and shoulders tops and most head and shoulders bottoms fail to reverse. If the market begins to reverse it will usually fail because trends tend to continue what they've been doing and 80% of reversal attempts will fail. It doesn't matter if the reversal attempt has a head and shoulders top or a head and shoulders bottom look to it. Chances are it'll fail. Every now and then a head and shoulders top will fail to function as a bull flag, which most are, and instead lead to a reversal. But most head and shoulders tops are bull flags. Most head and shoulders bottoms are bear flags. And every now and then they'll fail to function as a flag and lead to a reversal. So here's a head and shoulders bottom um, and most head and shoulders bottoms do not reverse the trend and this is a perfect example. Um, it led to a trading range and then another um, low. Markets tend to have inertia and they resist change. So we're in a strong bear trend um, you know it, it's going to be resistant to change and this head and shoulders bottom simply was part of a um, large trading range. It's head and shoulders top and bottom are way overused terms. Some traders see them everywhere and they trade them all the time and if they do they lose money. Remember only 20 percent of reversals um, patterns actually lead to reversals. Most head and shoulders tops become bull flags. Most head and shoulders bottoms become bear flags. 
Okay, here's a 120 minute chart of the E mini and their head and shoulders patterns all the way down, head and shoulders bottom patterns all the way down, yet the market continued down. There are head and shoulders tops all the way up, and yet the market continued up. Most head and shoulders patterns are flags, not reversal patterns. Traders who see head and shoulders tops and bottoms all over the place are looking for reversals within strong trends, and they end up missing the trends. Some traders are always looking for reversals, even when the context is bad, and they see head and shoulders tops and head and shoulders bottoms everywhere, and they take all of those entries, and they wonder why they're losing money when they're uh, selling these great head and shoulders tops and buying these great head and shoulders bottoms that all the books say are great reversal patterns. Uh, they're losing money because they're fighting the trend, and most head and shoulders tops and bottoms are not reversal patterns, they're continuation patterns. Most head and shoulders tops become bull flags. So we have a head and shoulders top, and it's probably going to be a bull flag and not a reversal pattern. And that's what happened. Once the bears are putting stops above lower highs, right? For a bear trend, you need lower highs and lower lows. If the market stops making lower highs, the bears will stop looking at it as a bear trend. So traders who shorted the breakout below the head and shoulders top have their stop above the right shoulder. If the market goes above the right shoulder, the bears give up. They no longer see it as a bear trend. And uh, here we have a strong breakout, uh, move above the right shoulder. Here's a pullback from the breakout and a resumption up. This is what usually happens with head and shoulders tops. They usually are bull flags and lead to a resumption of the bull trend. Every now and then one fails to lead to the resumption of the trend and the market reverses and people think of it as a reversal pattern. But I think the way head and shoulders patterns are talked about is entirely wrong. They're talked about as if they're usually reversal patterns, and they're not. They're usually continuation patterns. And like any continuation pattern, sometimes you get a reversal instead of a continuation. Okay, what happens one tick above that right shoulder? Um, the, bail, the bears failed to keep forming lower highs and lower lows. So they're giving up on their premise of a bear channel. The bulls buy expecting the resumption of a trend. And the bears buy above that right shoulder to exit their shorts because they now believe that their original assumption of a bear trend is wrong. So here's the head and shoulders top. Here's the right shoulder. Bears will get out, get out above the shoulder. Bulls will get long above the shoulder because at this point, as soon as the market gets above the shoulder, the market's no longer forming lower highs and lower lows, so it's no longer a bear trend. So the bears sold betting on a bear trend, and as soon as we get above that lower high, it's no longer a bear trend. So the bears buy back their shorts and take the loss. Bulls see the same process, and they assume that the bull trend is reversing, that the bears failed. So they're buying here, and they're certainly buying the, a higher low pullback. You can call this a small higher low major trend reversal. We had a bear trend a bull breakout, and then a pullback to a higher low major trend reversal. When the, market, when the market reverses after head and shoulders top, it is a lower high major trend reversal, and it's better to look for major trend reversals than head and shoulders tops. The right shoulder is a pullback from the bear breakout below the bull trend line, and you can take a look at the modules on, um, head, on, on major trend reversals to get more information. So I see the right shoulder of a head and shoulders top as simply a lower high major trend reversal. In other words, a pullback from the bear breakout below the trend line. So we have a bull trend, a break below the bull trend line, and this is a pullback from that breakout. You can call it a head and shoulders top. I prefer to call it a lower high major trend reversal. The same at the bottom. We have a head and shoulders bottom. Um, I would not be calling this a head and shoulders bottom. I would be calling it a higher low major trend reversal. A bear trend, a breakout above the um, trend line, and then a higher low. And this is the end of the module on head and shoulders patterns.